the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Donalds, is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, this hearing is a complete and utter waste of time. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. I, th I thought we'd wasted a lot of time here in Congress, and unfortunately for the American people, we do, and this hearing adds to that. We are examining Big Oil's climate pledges. Uh, these are multinational companies, and you're trying to get them to, you're trying to force them to adhere to pledges that the majority party wants them to make about climate change. I fail to see how that is the responsibility for the Oversight Committee to enforce pledges that they choose or choose not to make. That's not our purview. That's not our job. I think so much of what we should be doing here is focused on what we can actually control. Let's talk about the genesis of these pledges, the actual Paris Climate Accords, which, by the way, are not a treaty because the President of the United States has not brought it to the Senate to be ratified. So if it's not a treaty of the United States, these climate accords, how then do we have the legal authority to try to hold multinational companies, some of which headquarter themselves in the United States? Can somebody explain that to me? Where this body, the House of Representatives, has the ability to literally bully companies into adhering to a climate pledge based upon a climate accord, which is not even a treaty of the United States, because Joe Biden won't take it to the Senate because the Senate will not ratify said treaty. None of this makes sense. But let's go into the other things that don't make sense. The price of oil is now $90 a, bar a barrel, give or take. Instead of allowing producers in the United States to actually go and drill for this oil, mind you, in a much more environmentally friendly way, Joe Biden doesn't want our domestic producers to go get the oil. He wants to go ask OPEC to go get oil. And then he wants to go ask Russia for oil because yes, we are importing oil from Russia. You know, that country that's now looking at Ukraine. And so he's trying to tell the Russians, we're gonna cut off Nord Stream 2 if you go into Ukraine, but at the same time, we're importing oil from Russia. Again, none of this makes any sense but we're gonna hold the, the, the oil companies accountable for not holding to their climate goals. You know what the funny thing is? Joe Biden and the Democrats are doing the same exact thing that the oil companies are doing. You see, the Democrats are running around talking about how, oh, we're gonna, be, we're gonna cut carbon emissions by 2030, we're gonna be tied to the Paris Climate Accords, this is what we're gonna do, it's gonna be great for our environment. But in the same breath, we are relying on countries and other parts of the world to drill the oil that we need to keep the lights on. To drill the oil that, you know, for Dr. Mann, he needs to power Penn State. Dr. Mann, at Penn State, are you guys, um, are you at zero emissions at Penn State right now? I don't control Penn State's emissions, but Dr. Mann, I, I'm only claiming my time. Dr. Mann, I'm talking energy. right now. Dr. My Mann, own, yep. does Penn State even have the ability to be at zero emissions? Uh, they have a goal to do that, but I don't. Uh, Dr. Mann, standards. if Penn State went to zero emissions today, would you freeze in your office and would your students freeze in their classrooms and their dorms? That's the silliest question I've heard today. It's not a silly um, question that because that's scenario. actually the one question that makes sense. If you cut off energy, people will freeze. Nobody's if you cut off energy, energy, economies right? cannot thrive. If you cut off energy, then what we're arguing about right now with respect to what the big, big oil's climate um, pledges will, will not matter because every member of Congress, every member of the Senate will have constituents who will be furious because they simply cannot heat their homes at a time where yes, it is cold outside. And anybody in DC knows right now, it is cold. Like I said, this is a ridiculous hearing. We should be focused on so many other things like, why is it that the barrel of oil is going to $90 a barrel right now and will probably go higher? And what that means for people who live in the northern states in the United States when it comes to heating their homes? Why have their heating costs doubled in the last year? Why have they gone up? It's because of bad economic policy coming out of the White House. And considering all the decision making that this White House is engaged in, it's no wonder that they're wrong again. I yield back. The gentlewoman from Michigan, Ms. Talib, is recognized for five minutes.